Hi, um, I'm very happy to um, introduce a very special patient to you, very special to me, um, because uh, it's my older brother, Khalil Kermani. Uh, Khalil is a medical doctor in orthopedics and, um, well, I did the cataract surgery um, on Khalil in uh, January this year and uh, basically what we did was a femtosecond laser assisted uh, FACO uh, emulsification of both eyes and then we implanted a non-diffractive EDOF uh, intraocular lens and, and the special thing about this maybe was that uh, we um, performed a uh, blended monovision, a micro monovision uh, for him and uh, I'm very happy that you're willing to to answer us a few questions. Thank you that you're here. Thank and you that uh, you uh, did this operation for me. Well, I feel very privileged that, that I was allowed to do it on, on, my, on my older brother, actually. So how long did it take that you um, could come back to your normal way of life? How many days or weeks? I could uh, see quite normally the second day. And because I was told to be a little careful, I tried not to read too much or not to do things um, like uh, heavy sports. But um, after one week, I forgot all these things and I lived quite normally. Do you remember any kind of discomfort with regard to night vision complaints? Do you see any halos? Or, or are you, I so had uh, you these halos for the first maybe two weeks or three weeks. Okay. Uh, they disappeared afterwards and didn't come back again. Okay. And do you feel that you have a very good visual acuity compared to when you were a younger person in distance vision and near vision? Mm -hmm. Or is there anything uh, where you would say, no, it's not that no, good? No, it's a problem for the rest of my uh, fellowships because uh, they are very jealous uh, that I'm looking so good and seeing everything. <laughs> and now they have to prepare the face before they come. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For me, it's fantastic. I see everything. Okay. Um, I would like to make a test. Um, in order to, to prove what you're saying, I mean, uh, I know that you would never fool me, but um, in order to, to prove this really, um, I would like to, to have you read this. So the, this is a reading chart and, and let me know how, how far you get down with the, with the um, letters getting smaller and smaller. I'm just looking on the lowest one and you can read it in German. It's I read it in German. Wenn er durch ein Fenster schaut, könnte er einen Vogel sehen. So this is impressive. This is uh, J1 plus. I think uh, this is quite quite impressive for somebody who has a EDOF lens, and uh, his distance refraction on the on the near eye is minus one for distance, but yet he can read J1 plus. Uh, w with the EDOF lens, non diffractive Very impressive. Thank you. The intraocular lens that was implanted in this case is a so-called EDOF intraocular lens, extended depth of focus. The Aconex Vario is a hydrophobic and a blue light filtering foldable intraocular lens um, that consists uh, of two optical areas of which one is directed for the distance vision and the second one is directed for intermediate vision. The pseudo-accommodative power of this intraocular lens is plus 1.5 diopter, which enables the patient to comfortably see both distance and intermediate vision. Good morning, Tobias Neuhan. Thank you very much uh, that you share your precious time with us. Tobias, you are one of the most experienced and um, best regarded um, eye surgeons in Germany, you have been in uh, surgical practice of, I guess, for 30 to 40 years or something like that. You have seen a lot of uh, products coming and going. Um, what is your general um, opinion about EDOF intraocular lenses and uh, especially the Aconex value? I think the evolution uh, which we have uh, with the new EDOF lenses is great because uh, the distance vision works like a normal monofocal lens, but you have an add-on that um, patients can also see uh, in the near and the, in the intermediate uh, part uh, much clearer than if you have a, a just a regular monofocal lens. This is a beauty uh, of the new optics which we have available now. Thank you. I know that you have systematically 
um, check the results that you achieve with the Aconex. Uh, you have a little study uh, ongoing, which you presented um, lately. Can you comment your, your experience or your data? The product is quite new. Therefore, we were interested. Um, does it work as good as the, the uh, previous lenses or perhaps better or what else? We see that in the, in the, in the column, which is the light blue, that 100% of the patients after six months see that is 20, 25 without correction in the distance, which is amazing. But and it's only one eye. When you use and bring the second eye together, then they have even better distance vision. Uh, a quarter of the patients even see better than 2020. They have 2015 vision for distance with one eye. The next column, which we have seen in the left side, we see that the intermediate vision performs also quite good with this uh, lens. 100% of the patients have 0.6 vision for intermediate. And then the right um, table, you can see that more than 90% can read newspaper without glasses is with one eye. When you take the second eye together and have a good light, then you can just read your regular newspaper like the Sun or whatever you want, or the New York Times. Um, without glasses. Sometimes with the diffractive multifocal IOLs, we have patients who complain about night vision problems. They see halos, um, they have distinct loss of contrast visual acuity. Uh, is this something that you get described by the patient with this product as well? Um, with the EDOF lens, this is not true. The EDOF lens has no dysphotopsias, no halos and glare. And especially for all older patients, which most of them have the cataract, they ha can um, drive car at night without all these side effects, which for them are more difficult to oversee than for younger patients. Thank you, Tobias. This is uh, very impressive. And uh, we are looking forward to, to see more developments and more results. I'd like to thank you very much. Um, I send you cordial regards from Cologne. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, I hope to see you soon in person again. Mm -hmm.